Hey YouTube, my next project is to upgrade the live well system on this Ranger 330V. It's got the old original controls and original valves along with the cables. And um, the valves aren't, aren't working right, they're worn out. And also you can't get these kind of controls anymore in the cables, so I'm gonna upgrade to the uh, new style. I got the Flowrite controls and the Flowrite valves these are the v3 so they're going to give me the uh, auto recirculation features and uh, to replace this old style controller from ranger i got this uh, basically this adapter plate so you can put the new style controls in and get it mounted into position to replace the old style lever that they don't uh, support with parts anymore we're gonna get the battery unhooked and then we're gonna get started. I removed the old controls and the old cables and uh, basically just unhooked them from the valves, pulled them through, removed the controls, and I've gotten started on getting the new ones installed. And I used my fish stick to fish down here along the side of the boat and for the cables, I previously had kind of routed them over there, the top of the fuel tank, so they would come in for the rear, because the valves that I've got are the, uh, the rear freight facing controls. So I want my cables coming in from the rear. And then once I did that, I hooked them up to my fish stick and I put some tape on it and pulled it up here through the side of the boat. So if you can, Look up here, here's the finished result. I'll take the, take the tape off. Get that fish stick out of here. As you can see, I uh, had both cable ends, taped them together and then taped them to that fiberglass uh, fish stick to pull them through the side of the boat. And then I've got them pulled through the mounting hole. Now, the reason that I'm doing this is that Ranger no longer offers replacement parts for these and that these don't fit the new style cables that go with the new style valves. Um, so the solution for that is they've got an adapter plate and this fits the, the new style Flowrite controls that will fit the new cables didn't go to the new valves and so this adapter plate will help get it installed now I'm gonna have to do some cutting to the fiberglass to make it work because this is kind of a one-size-fit-all and what I'm gonna do is use one screw for for part of the original position for the corner for the live well controls and then I'm gonna take a, a sharpie and kind of mark the position and then use some tools to try to cut the new holes here to fit the new levers. Okay, now I'm working on cutting this fiberglass out to fit the new controls. So my control levers will fit in behind here and I'm using a Dremel tool with some various attachments to cut out this fiberglass. Now it is throwing off a lot of dust, so I'm wearing a, a mask and some safety glasses. And I also find it helpful to run a shop vac when I'm cutting, and that way it kind of sucks the dust out of the way and uh, keeps the area clean. I broke one disc already, uh, trying to cut it out with a little rotary disc on here. So I'm gonna try this different attachment and see how that works.
Okay. Now I've attached the cable to the control. And as you can see, this plastic bracket fits in over the metal, just like so. And you use this to hand tighten it. It's just plastic, so you don't want to over tighten it. And we'll check it to see if we can get it to fit in position. All right, perfect. And now I'm going to take stainless steel screws and get it installed. Okay, again, we have it, the bracket in position there, and we'll tighten that down, just, just hand tight. We'll check the operation, perfect. And now we'll get it installed. Very nice. Now I'm going to take my dribble tool and I'm going to shave off this little extra corner and get that out of the way. Okay, I've got my new three position flow right valves installed, one for the rear live well one for the front live well i've got the new cables installed and those go to the new controls that we've got up front on the side of the boat in the con by the console and so now i'm going to get the battery reinstalled and we're going to test it out what i've done is place them both in the recirculation mode and so in this mode it will hold the water in the live well and then use the pump to recirculate it and so it should stay in there and shouldn't leak out. So I'm gonna pour the water in the front live well, and then we're gonna give it a test. And this is gonna be a good way before I get this thing out of the lake, I can test all those lines and valves that I've installed, make sure that they're not leaking, at least up to the recirculation point for now. And, uh, then I can turn the switch on to turn my pump on for my forward aerator. As we can see now, in that recirculation mode, I've got the water staying in the front live well and it's recirculating. And I wanted this feature so we'll be able to keep the fish in the live well when we pull the boat off the water and on the trailer. And specifically, my kids are in a, a, a fishing club. And when they do the weigh-ins, they've got to be able to have the uh, trailer to the weigh-ins at some event. And with this recirculation mode, we'll be able to do that and keep the fish alive. So now I'm going to look back here in the back and check to see if I've got any any leaks. I've got the plug out of the boat and I don't have anything dripping so that's a good sign. I can look down here at my valves. It's the valve on the right hand side that's going to the to the front and um, as you can see there I can see the water flowing through the clear hose. I don't have any leaks there. I just have a little water residue that was left over um, actually from from earlier but I don't see any any drips any leaks and uh, now I'm gonna test the rear live well so I'm gonna refill that bucket put it in the rear live well and test that one as well okay now I'm gonna test the rear live well see if I can pour this water in without making a mess here Okay. And then again, 
I'm gonna check to see, make sure that I don't have any leaks. In the rear, coming from the valves. Right now we're looking good, I don't see any leaks. And I've got it set up in recirculation mode. So we're gonna turn it on now. air worked out of the pump. So now I'll just finish checking this for leaks. I'm going to stick a couple of plugs in the inlet of the drain and then I'm going to open the, uh, the lever to the empty position so we're making sure that we're holding water um, from the valve to the drain portion and again what this is, is the, uh, the updated flow right controls along with the cables, the three position valves. So we've got this live well system updated. So we've got the features of the recirculation, the auto, or uh, just the empty. So we've got the, the three position. This is an upgrade from the original controls that we had on the boat. And these just have the the levers that went through the cable to open and close the valve. And again, these parts were worn along with the, uh, the control valves and they didn't have this feature for the recirculation when the boat's on the trailer. And uh, these parts were non-serviceable from Ranger. So we put in the new, the new control valve and I got this adapter plate from Ranger to fit this for the boat. And I'm happy with this, this installation. We'll see you next time.